All right, guys, and we're back. And in this video, we're gonna look at a free and open source email application called K9 Mail. K9 is a well-developed email client. And if you have de-Googled yourself or prefer not to use Google Apps, this is probably gonna be your top choice as an email client. So let's quickly run down some of the features. Push IMAP support, uh, we support GPG, uh, we can have multiple accounts, we can have unified inbox, themings, signatures, things like that. Regular features that you would see on kind of most email clients that you're uh, used to. Using K9, this means we can practically connect to most any email service. Just know that some of the large providers are deprecating traditional IMAP mailbox logins. For example, Gmail is now requiring you to create separate application logins for third-party email clients and applications to connect to your mailboxes. Using Gmail as an example, you will need to log into your Google account, go into your security settings, and you will see application passwords. Now from here, we'll need to create an app password in this particular case for K9 to access the mailbox. So you can see uh, from the screenshots. Once you have that set up, when you connect your K9 to your Gmail account, make sure you use the email address and the application password that Gmail created for you, not the actual account password. This should then log you into your email box and start grabbing messages. Now that we have an account connected, let's look at some of the settings inside K9. Okay, I'm gonna use my phone as an example. So I have three different profiles here set up in, set up in K9. And uh, you can see how they're displayed here. They can be separately color coded and you can re you can name them appropriately. And if I go into one of the mailboxes here uh, and I click on the little three buttons on the bottom right here, I get some settings. So I can open that up and we got mark as red, expunge, folder settings because I'm actually in that mailbox. So we're gonna go ahead and click on settings. And then from here we have global settings and we have account settings. So these are two different things. Obviously one applies to the account that you're currently in, and one is a global setting that applies to all accounts. So let's just start with the global setting. So I'm not gonna go over all the uh, different settings in K9, it's gonna take a little bit too long, but I'm gonna highlight some of the more interesting ones. So in the global settings, we have display interaction notifications, network, miscellaneous, privacy, debugging, and cryptography. So let's go in and take a look at uh, display. So in display here, you can see that we can change our theme. We can uh, change the message. We can also change the message theme. Also configure the font size. Just some things that you might wanna turn off and turn on here globally to apply to all the different accounts, like you know font size, for example. I did go ahead and change that on mine. Okay, next let's take a look at, oh, that's me probably sharing the screenshot. Okay, uh, sorry about that guys. You can see that's me trying to, taking a, <laughs> taking a, a screenshot of this of the screen here. Uh, a little more under display, we have a uh, preview lines. You can show stars, uh, multi-select check boxes, show contact names, show contact pictures and message list, uh, show pictures, yeah, uh, colorized pictures, change color when red, when red, threaded view, so like conversation view. And so yeah, you can just go ahead and sort of adjust the display uh, settings the way you like. Also, it does have support for open PGP. So you can, if you have someone else that's on K9 Mail and has this auto configured, which would be the ideal solution, you can uh, integrate with open uh, PGP. So it does need a plugin for this, but you can go ahead and set that up. I don't have this uh, set up because I don't communicate sensitive information over email and I wouldn't recommend that you guys do that either. Much better if you use something like Signal or some sort of secure messaging app and under interaction, we have some of these here. So we can start in unified inbox and some gestures, things like that. Under network uh, is the background sync. So this is, you can go in here and specify whether you want it to constantly sync in the background, or if you'd like to pull for messages every so often, like five minutes and 10 minutes, but I'll show you that a little in more detail in the actual account settings. Okay, under privacy, we have uh, remove the agent from the headers, which is nice. You can change the time zone to UTC. Uh, you can hide the host name, identify as local host when connecting to SMTP servers, which is really cool. I really like that one. And you can also hide the subject uh, in notifications. Okay, so let's get out of global settings. Let's go into account settings. And you can see we have general reading, fetching, sending, folders, storage, notifications, search, and cryptography again. If we look at fetching mail, we can see that uh, this is where you're really gonna wanna customize this. You can tell K9 how many messages you want in the local folder. Also sync messages from anytime, no limit. 
write sync messages from, and you can specify a time frame here. You can tell it to fetch messages up to a certain size. Folder pull frequency, how often you want it to pull for new messages. And you can sync server deletions here, which I have enabled. And when I delete, delete from server, things like that. So a lot of uh, standard things that you would see under the uh, under typical IMAP settings. Under sending mail, you would see some similar settings like your signatures, uh, showing the CC and BCC fields if you do that often, the quote message in reply, um, strip signatures on reply, things like that. So that's in the sending mail section. Uh, something rather important here is in the search uh, field, in the search setting, so let's say you have a really big inbox, and most people do, and you don't want K9 to download all those headers, download those uh, onto the phone, because um, in many cases it could be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands. So what I do, for example, is I download the first thousand headers onto the phone, and then uh, when I want to search for something older than that, I enable the uh, server search, and this actually searches all messages in the mailbox. So you don't have to keep them locally on the device. So that works quite well. I think that's a really good uh, feature. Okay, under notifications, we have quiet time. So disable uh, the buzzing and stuff and ringing. You can disable notifications during quiet time. Specify what time quiet time starts. I've had some mixed outcome with the quiet time setting. I don't know if it really works 100%. Um, but anyways, what I usually do with my phone is I just turn on to do not disturb at night anyways because I don't want to sort of hear anything. I don't want anything waking me up. Uh, yeah, you can play with this setting and see if that works for you. So that was a really quick overview of K9 and now you can get it set up on your device. It's very fast and super lightweight. Remember, you don't need Google Apps installed to get the information you need. Try to keep prying eyes off of your data. If you like these app reviews, please let me know. If you find them valuable, I'll continue to make them. And I'll see you guys in the next one.